Few early scientists contributed as much to the understanding of the way the universe works as Galileo, but in his lifetime he was not popular. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts. Galileo Galilei was the son of a poor nobleman and was destined for a medical career. Yet while at the University of Pisa in northern Italy, he became fascinated with mathematics and by 1589 was teaching it at the university level. There he came to believe the theory taught by the Polish mathematician Copernicus that the planets revolve around the sun. But Galileo was hesitant to teach this openly because the church accepted the ancient Ptolemaic theory which placed the earth at the center of the universe. In 1609, Galileo built an improved version of a fairly recent invention, the telescope, and the following year he announced a series of discoveries. He found the moons of Jupiter, observed that the surface of Earth's moon was not very smooth, and developed the idea that the Milky Way was composed of a collection of stars. He was convinced that his telescope validated Copernicus. In 1611, Galileo visited Rome and brought his discoveries to the attention of church authorities. Encouraged by the reception he received, he began to teach more emphatically Copernicus's theory. As Galileo moved from practical observation into theory, however, he began to attract vigorous opposition. Most of the universities remained under the control of those who were convinced that the scriptures taught that the earth was the center of the universe. On March 5, 1616, the church authorities declared Copernicus wrong and forbade Galileo to spread his teachings. He held his peace for seven long years. Next time, it does move at the University of Richmond. I'm Dan Roberts.